What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really, really cool effect that requires no plugins as well as no presets. And that is going to be how to create or how to mimic a fake burning sky in Final Cut Pro 10 for your music videos or whatever the case may be. This is a really cool effect that you guys can do. And the only thing you need is really green screen footage, which I'll provide down in the description. Of course, always you know support the original creator on the actual videos for the green screen clips. But apart from that, this is what I created here. So I'm gonna show you the before and then the after. So this is the before the original video, and then this is where with it applied as you can see it just it just looks so so cool all right so what you want to do first is have your music video into the timeline and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this clip here which starts from here and ends there which is roughly three and a half seconds long so what you want to do first is drag this one here which I think is fire here we go and I will leave it down in the description so I'm gonna drag this video right above my media here and I'm gonna disable that by pressing V for the time being. I'm gonna select this bottom clip and I'm gonna hold Option and drag upwards to make a copy. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the effects here and I'm gonna go into the masks, go to draw mask and just drag that onto your second clip. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna move this playhead to the beginning and you're gonna make a selection, a very brief selection, don't add too many points, just add a point to every corner or edge here and I'm gonna select it here. So click out of it and click once here, one frame there, not one frame, but one point here. I'm gonna click over here and make sure that this line is right above this little roof. And then what I'm gonna do is just circle around and go and finish off with the first point that we made. So we temporarily disable the bottom clip by pressing V you're gonna see that this is the mask that we selected. All we're gonna do now is just invert this so that it's black. And so that way we can drag this one, just re-enable the video and drag this below the copied clip with the mask. And you're gonna see now we have this fire effect in the background. From this point, what you want to do is we're going to make a copy. So we're gonna trim this to the end of that first clip. So now we have this and we're gonna scale this down a little bit. So we're gonna click on this transform tool. We're gonna to drag this to about halfway maybe something like this. I'm gonna drag it up a little bit as well. Click done and we're gonna make another copy. Hold option and drag upwards. Select the top clip here. Go to the transform, just drag this over to the right. Click done. Now we're gonna go into the effects. We're gonna go into the masks and we're gonna go to graduated mask. Drag that onto the top fire clip here. And now you're gonna have two points. So what we're gonna do is just drag this piece out on the left and this kind of center piece, we're gonna drag it right here. So this creates a nice feather kind of mask. So you can't really tell that it, there's two clips there. So we're gonna drag that around here. And now if I push play, it's gonna look just like that, super cool. And we can combine those two clips by selecting both of them, go to new compounds clip, and I'm gonna name this uh, main fire. So we have one clip here. So it's gonna play just like that. Now that we have the mask kind of selected, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually keyframe that to the movement of the panning. So we're gonna zoom into the timeline, click on the draw mask, and we're gonna click on the control point. So add a keyframe there, open up the transforms, and we're gonna go and add a keyframe next to position. What we're gonna do is switch this one. So we're gonna hit the invert mask, hold shift, and press right on the arrow key to skip a couple frames. I think that's two frames or three. So hold shift and press right on the arrow key. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag on this mask up. So click and drag like that. And again, just drag this up like that might have to move these points as well. Again, shift right on the arrow key and keep doing that until you start to see those edges appear again. And there you go. So it should look something like this once you hover over your video clip. And once you're happy with the result, click on the invert mask, make sure that that's checked. So this is what we have here. Now, of course, if it's choppy, we're gonna fix this a little bit. So we're gonna go into the feather. We're gonna increase that to roughly 12. Go back and push play. And if you see it moving a lot, we can simply right click on the clip here and go to show video animation. And you're gonna see all of our points. Make sure that you're hovered over those points and fix them like so. It's gonna look a little bit better. All we have to do now is add the rest. So we're gonna have the burning kind of embers smoke green screen clip, except this one's with the black background. So we're gonna click and drag this above our media and we're gonna turn the audio down for that clip and just trim it to where the actual fire smoke is appearing. I'm gonna zoom in back into the timeline and I'm gonna change the blend mode. So I'm going to cut this clip, delete it, select it back and go into compositing and change the blend mode to either screen or lighten or something like that. I'm gonna go with screen. I think screen looks the best. So it's gonna look just like that. 
Now all you're gonna do is go into the green screen clip, which is the third one here. So we're gonna drag that right above and I'm gonna trim that as well. Then I'm gonna select the green screen clip, go into the effects, go to King and add the key onto that clip. And so now this should get rid of the green screen as you can see. So if we push play, looks just like that. Of course, the selection's a little choppy, but you can go back in keyframes and adjust those to see which looks best. But from this point, all you're gonna do now is add a LUT to the fire clip so that it blends in a little bit better with the actual music video. So go into color, then you wanna go into custom LUT and drag that onto the fire clip. And then you can change the LUT here, assuming you've downloaded a couple of LUTs here, but I'm gonna go with this one here, which is the M31 LUT. So if I go back and I push play, it's gonna look just like that. And we extend out this, these two clips here. It'll look like this on the following scene. So this is without it and then with it and then without any of these effects applied. So before and then an after, which looks like this. Super cool, no plugins are required. The only thing you need is of course these three clips, uh, which I'll leave down in the description. But if you guys found this video helpful whatsoever, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on videos just like this. Yeah, I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.